Hey, this is Todd, and today we're going to look at custom images and boot volume backups. All right, let's take a look at creating custom images on the Oracle Cloud. This is a really cool feature that allows you to take an instance and install some software on it and make an image from that instance that you can then use to create further instances. So that might sound a little confusing. Let me explain what I'm talking about here. So in our last video, we created an instance based on this Oracle Linux 7.7 .7 image. And essentially what that is is just a stock OS image that gives us Oracle Linux. Well, we would like to create further instances that have Java installed out of the box. So in order to do that, we can take this instance and we can install Java on it and create a custom image and then create further instances based on that custom image. So how do we do that? The first thing that we'll want to do is grab the public IP address. And once we have the IP address, we can then SSH into the, uh, the machine. And so we'll do that here. And once we're connected up, we can see that we have Java installed on this machine. So we have OpenJDK version 13.01. And so now we're going to take this instance and create a custom image from this instance. So anything, any software that's installed on this instance will be applied to that custom image. Now, the only thing that we should note here is that no data that we have installed on this image is going to uh, is going to carry over to that custom image. It's just the software and configuration that we've set up on this instance. Uh, that's the only things that are going to be available in the custom image. So we can see that we have Java 13 installed here. And if we go back to the console, we can go to actions, create custom image. And all we have to do at this point is give that image a name. So I'm going to name it custom image demo one, and I'm going to click create custom image. Now, I should note that when you do create a custom image, the instance will have to go offline in order to create that custom image. So you're going to want to do this in a maintenance window or before your instance has gone to production, uh, you know, or at a time where you're okay with it being offline because it's going to take a few minutes. It's going to take your instance offline while it creates the image. But once that process is complete, if we come back here to compute and we come over here to custom images, we can see that I've already created a custom image demo one. And if we click on that, we can view some of the details for this custom image. So we can see here that it's compatible with these various shapes. We can see the original image that it's based on. And at this point, if we want to create a instance based on this custom image, we could click create instance. Uh, another way to do this is to go through the regular create instance dialog and change our image source to be our custom image. So if we select that custom image, we could do that. And when we launch this new instance, we will have Java installed out of the box. So if you uh, choose your options here and make sure that you have a SSH key and we click create, we can create a new instance based on this custom image. So once that's available, we will SSH into that and take a look. So now that our new instance has been created, we have a public IP address assigned, we can SSH into the new instance that was created based on the custom image. And if we do that, we will see that Java has been installed on this instance.
So again, custom images, a really cool way to create new instances with a specific set of software pre-installed out of the box. So now let's take a look at boot volume backups. So I have this instance that I created based on my custom image. And if we scroll down here on the instance details page, we can see boot volumes in the bottom left here. So if we click on boot volumes, we'll see that a block volume has been attached, uh, 46.6 gigs. And if we wanted to, we can view our boot volume details and we can see some information related to this drive. Now, if we come over here to the left hand side here, we see boot volume backups. So if we click on boot volume backups, at this point we can create a boot volume backup for this particular uh, boot volume. So if we give it a name, we click create boot volume backup, what that's gonna do is it's gonna go create a backup of our boot volume. Now the boot volume backup is slightly similar to a custom image in that all of the software that are available on that volume is going to be still available on that boot volume backup. But this will also include any data that you have saved to that boot volume. And what you could do at this point is uh, you can view your boot volume backups back here on the compute page. And you can see this one that I've just kicked off is in the middle of creating. But we also have this one that I've pre-created here. And if we click on this boot volume backup that I've previously created, we can use this backup to create a new boot volume. So we can call that boot volume restored demo. And if we do that and we click create boot volume, that's going to create a new boot volume based on that backup. Once that is done being created, we can then create an instance based on that boot volume that is uh, restored from the backup. So just a slightly different way of creating a new instance based on another instance, but in this case, it's going to include all of the software installed on the instance, as well as any of the data that has been stored to that boot volume. Now, this is more useful for things like disaster recovery, whereas the custom image is kind of a nice way to create like a template that you could use to create your instances going forward. So I wouldn't recommend using boot volume backups as a kind of template, rather as a disaster recovery. So you can also assign backup policies to your boot volume backups. Um, so you can use a gold, silver, and bronze policy, or you can custom define policies. And basically this just describes the frequency and uh, retention period for your backups. Um, that's it. In this video, we took a look at custom images and boot volume backups. In the next video, we're going to take a look at instance configurations, instance pools, and auto scaling configurations. Thanks for watching.